Priya! Hello? Where's she bloody go? Priya! Isn't it bloody fair, eh? Bloody in. <laughs> Bloody hell. Mr. Garnick? Oh, you're in then. <laughs> Honey, she give me the key, young Rita. Told me to let myself in, she's gone out. Really? It's all right, no need to worry. She asked me to pop in and look out for you. Well, I said I would, you see, do a good one and get out of the house for a bit. That Mrs. Smith, she's got the youngster, and I said I'd watch out for you. Where's she gone? She's gone at the pictures she has, her and Mike, all right for Sam and you. <laughs> Have her pictures? What about my dinner? It's all right. She's left you some tins. <laughs> tins? Teens, ain't it bloody fair, eh? I'm out of work all bloody day long, slogging my bleeding guts out. She's all fired pictures. I mean, she's supposed to be looking after me, she is. That's why I let the other one, the silly moo, go to Australia. <laughs> and she ain't hardly got there yet, when this one, little madam, she's pissed off our pictures. <laughs> I mean, ain't a lot to ask, is she just make me bloody dinner at night, that's all. You want some dinner then, do you? Of course I bloody do! <laughs> Of course I want some dinner. Well, all right, Mr. Garney. Just you sit down there. Well. Sit down. I'll go and open these, then. <laughs> I thought you said she asked you to look after me. Yes, she did. She did. She asked me if I'd cook you a bit, and I said I didn't mind. Well, I don't. I mean, if you can't help a neighbour. And I was going to be cooking for my Bert anyway. Oh, well. Thanks very much, honey. I thought you said... No, I'm making my bird of meat pudding, see? So I thought to myself, well, I thought, I've got a big basin. I only needs a bit more dough, because I've got plenty of meat, see? Yeah, I hope it's a big one, because I'm bloody starving, I am. Well, of course you are. You must be out at work all day. Yeah. Well, I'll get on, then. Yeah, right. Um, uh, do you know where she keeps the opener? <laughs> <laughs> what opener? The tin opener for these. No, I've, what about the pudding you said she's making? Oh, yes. Well, I'd like to go out, see. Then this man called. Yeah, but look, I don't want bloody tins. <laughs> well, it was late when he left, see. So I thought to myself, well, I won't bother with the pudding now, see. Because they're going to come in. They're bound to be late, they're bound to be hungry, they don't want to sit there waiting for no pudding to cook. So then I thought to myself, well, I thought the fish and chip shop's handy. I thought, what about a nice bit of cod and chips, you know, double L pins? Yeah. I know my Bert likes fish and chips, and I didn't think you'd object, and up there in that new shop, he's ever so good he is. Well, I mean, even the batter's good up yeah, there. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that do, do. And he, of course... I had to forget he shuts early on Wednesdays. <laughs> it's, it's Tuesday. Eh? Today is Tuesday! Is he? Oh dear. I wish I'd have known. Still, never mind, this will be very nice. This is ravioli. All continental, eh? Imagine you're in the south of France. And that's, um, that's continental barley soup. Kosher. <laughs> <laughs> they look after you, don't they? I've got something for you here as well. Get off! I'd be bloody head all wet now. It's a lovely smell, isn't it? What is it? It's, um, anti-perspirant. <laughs> that man left it here for us free, but he says, would you mind filling up this form and he'll call back for it tomorrow. It's ever so good, that stuff is. I've tried it on my Bert and it even works on him. <laughs> and you know what Bert's got? That's 
not B.O., I mean B.O. you can live with, but what my Bert's done... <laughs> but, I mean, it's not as if he is a dirty man, but I suppose it's like, when you ain't got no bathroom, you see, well, it, like, it, it, well, it spoils your social life, doesn't it? I mean, you get on a bus with him and no-one wants to sit beside you. Look... Not look, even round here, they don't. Look, the only odours what I'm interested in is the odours of cooking. Well, yes, but if I could only find the tin opener... I... Well, what's your boat having? Oh, he's moaning in there. I've told him if he likes to wait, I will cook the pudding for him. So I suppose what he'll do, he'll have a wash, then he'll give himself another bit of a spray with this, and he'll go off at the pub for a while. Yeah, well, I, I might do that and all. What, have a spray of this? No! <laughs> no, I've got a pub. Wait for the pudding, see? I mean, God, blimey, I don't need no spray of that. I mean, that's only for people with... You know. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, we ain't got no bath, see, but... Yeah. That, that smell what your Bert's got, I mean, now yeah, you come to mention it, I mean... <laughs> see, I, I don't mind it because, well, I know him and, you know, I, I make allowances. Well, he's a mate, isn't he? But... Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I can understand people not wanting to sit next to him on a bus, you yeah. know. And this stuff sort of cleared it up, is it? Well, it's a lovely smell, isn't it? I mean, if you was to smell that and you didn't know who it was, you could imagine... Say you was to, like, get a whiff of it. And you didn't look round to see who it was, well... I mean, you could imagine... What, a sort of, like, afro desire act to you, is it? <laughs> Hardly wait for tonight. Spray him with that and close me eyes and ooh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's only for people with, you know, I mean, I don't. Most people do. Some, yeah, some, but with others, it's, uh, I mean... <laughs> I mean, that's, see, that, that's just like ordinary human odour, that is. I mean, it don't smell, see. I mean, it's bloody good stuff for them what do, you know. I might have a squirt of it later, but... I don't need it, see? This well, like... before you go up the pub driving all the barmaids mad, would you be so kind as to fill up this form? Yeah, but what about my pudding? No, well, the man's coming in for it in the morning, you see, and I said I'd have it ready for him. Look, I've filled in all the first part I have. I've, like, put your name and your address and all that, but it's, it's just these questions here. Oh, yes. Now, <clears throat> it says here, what... In your view, is the advantages of um, aerosol? That's that. <laughs> well, I've, I've told you, I don't bloody need it. <laughs> need it? Yes. Now then, over here, it's all about the telly. Do you watch the ITV or BBC? Well, I don't watch the BBC. It calls of all your violence, they hold all that bloody filth of theirs. <laughs> Often do you watch telly? Seven days a week, six days a week, five days a week. Um, uh, about seven days a week. Seven. That's all. That's the same as we are, not avid. How many hours do you watch? What do you mean, how many hours? That's a bloody daft question, that is, isn't it? Eh? I mean, that's the reason I ain't got no pudding yet, innit? <laughs> I mean, if it's on, I'll watch it till I go out of the pub. There's nothing worth watching anyway, is there? A load of bloody rubbish. Of course, if she was here, she'd have it on then. She'd watch any bloody rubbish she will. Is she there yet in Australia? 
Oh, it must be. Been gone a week, nearly. Well, it's a long way, though, isn't it? I mean, it's right round right the other side, isn't it? I mean, it's like right underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think I care for that myself. <laughs> I'll put you down the same as us again, not Avid. <laughs> What's Avid? Avid, you know Avid. Avid, um, avid telly fans, we're not that. I mean, my Bert and me, we will watch, yes, but most of the time we don't even like it. Look. He's always threatening to turn it off, he is. Yeah. He comes in, he says to me, turn that thing off, he says, I'm saying, no, I say. I say, no, you want it off, you can turn it off yourself. You're the one who wants it off, you get up and put it off. I've been no. all day, I say. About time I had a bit of... All right! Somebody will bloody turn you off. <laughs> no, just give me that bloody form. I mean, it's daft, isn't it? I mean, if they want to know what sort of deod deodorants you use, I mean, what, why do you ask you how much telly you watch? Bloody st <laughs> Just a minute, just a minute. Look, this, this form is supposed to be filled out by a woman, not a man. I know. Well, all right, then. I'll ask you the bloody questions. Oh, all right. Go on, then. Right. Now, question four. Do you, you prefer... <laughs> Do you prefer roll-on de deodorants? Or, <laughs> or ours, 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 Sticky, and I haven't got time to stand there all morning with my arms up waiting for it to dry. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice, the man what come here. Yeah, I don't mind that. Look, there's the next question. Do you have any of the following? In your house. <laughs> I'm doing the questions. <laughs> Nail varnish. No. Hairspray. No. Bar foil. I ain't got no bath. <laughs> bath essence. Cube. Yes, I've got oxo cubes for the pudding. <laughs> oh, you don't want to bother with all that bloody rubbish. You just get on and make the pudding. Well, I suppose this stuff could improve your butt a bit, though, couldn't it, eh? It might. Might do a bit of good. Yeah. But, I mean, he's not the cleanest nor tidiest of people. And the washing, do you know? He has two shirts every week and he still expects a clean one on Sundays. <laughs> you want to give him a squirt of this before he goes off to work? I'll say to him, I'll say, if you was any kind of a man, if you was anything at all, I'll say. If you was any kind of a man, you'd get yourself a decent job, I'll say. Something with a bit of respect in it, at least. Something where, at least, you can get through the week with one shirt and not have me keep on washing. <laughs> I mean, all this changing, it makes it very hard on me. I'll say to him, that Mr Burke, I don't mean, that Mr Briggs who lives down our road. I say, he gets right through the week with the same shirt and he still has it clean on Sundays. <laughs> well, you see, the railway supplies him with the uniform so that only the collar shows. But with my Bert, it's the sweat. He, he will sweat, you see. <laughs> and it's the sweat what, like, spreads the dirt. Well, you've got a sweat, have not you? But not like my Bert does. He don't sweat like a normal person. <laughs> He has those big damp patches. Sweat is damp. Damp piece. Well, why can't he contain it inside? I don't know. Contain it. Here. Yeah. I'll tell you, Sonic, the people who make all this stuff talking about our work soon, and that's the trouble of the country today, isn't it? It's not enough people prepared to sweat no more. Not with Darling Howard and his mob mollycoddling them all over the place. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll go down the pub, and you get on with a pudding, and I'll wait down there till it's ready. How long do you think it'll be? Well, I don't know. What time they shut up there? Shut? <laughs> I don't want to sit in a pub till closing time waiting for the bloody pudding. I'm starving, I am. You've got teens, haven't you? Teens? I don't want your bloody teens, I told you. <laughs> Don't you speak to me like that, Mr. Garnet. 
It isn't my fault if your wife's gone and left you. Look, she... It's all very well, airs and graces, and we're off to Australia and the other one up the pictures. But it isn't fair on me. I've got enough to do in my own house, meat puddings indeed. I'm not making no meat puddings this time of night. If you want meat puddings, you want to ask them as is supposed to make meat puddings for you. If you want meat puddings, you want to get her back from Australia and let her make meat puddings for you, not me. I've got quite enough to do in my own house. No, you're supposed to be bloody well looking after me, ain't you? I said I didn't mind opening a few tins, but not with that attitude. With that attitude, you can open them yourself. <laughs> Smell nice. <laughs> Handsome. Go on, what do you want? No, no, I'll get these. I'll get. What, what are you having? Oh, I'll tell you what I've been fancy and drop of that black label. <laughs> I'll have a pint, Les. Yeah, I'll have one and all. I, I can't drink that without something to wash it down with. I've got to have a chaser. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, Les. Cheers. Uh. Uh. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, but, uh... <laughs> Remember that time when your wife went away and I said to you, you could come in whenever you want, right? No. <laughs> Yeah, didn't I say to you, you know, treat the house as your own, come in whenever you like, make it yours? Except meal times. <laughs> well, it must have been some misunderstanding, cos, I mean, you was always very welcome, you know. Yeah, well, perhaps I got the wrong impression. Yeah. Yeah, she did seem to say... She did seem to say you can have a cup of tea once, that's what she said. Well, they are, then. They are, see? Yeah. So, I mean, only... And it, the reason I, I brought it up now, see, is because, like, your missus is supposed to be looking after me, see. Well, I shouldn't rely too much on that elf. I mean, oh, I'm her husband. I'll keep her. She don't even look after me. <laughs> well, it's, it's just, I mean, she's, she's like making us a meat pudding, see. Yeah, well, you're laughing. Yeah, she but... She makes a good meat pudding, as it happens. Yeah, yeah, but... Oh, I tell you what, I'm ready for my supper. You know, if you can't get a good woman, you've got to get yourself good food. Right. Agree with you. Definitely. See... Thing is, we had words like, you know, it was nothing, you know, it's just. And she said, I can't have none of the pudding. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I don't suppose you'll be coming down then. Well, no, I, th I thought, you know, if you could say something, you know, if you could, like, or. But I I I'll apologise, I was nothing felt on my side until that. Yeah. <laughs> No, well, I, I would like to help you, Alf. Yeah, no, I thought, you know, if you could say, you know, or, or if you was to tell her, you know, category, like, you know, yeah. the half that pudding is his, Mr. Garnet's. Yeah, well, if he's in one of them moods, Alf, and I was to say, well, she'll only... No, well, I'd better say nothing. All right. Thought well, she was going out of pictures. Nah. Rita hadn't got any money. <laughs> Get out of it. <laughs> Works, bank, Les. She's not managing very well since Ma left. No, she ain't. Ah, the money just seems to be running away. I mean, most mornings, they used to be able to swag a few bob off her before she went to work. Hey? Before Ma left. Sorry, man. You used to be able to get a few bob off Ma, too, and all. I suppose you could, uh, bung us a few bob, could you? No, I bloody puddin', couldn't. <laughs> Cooking back home then? No, no. We got fish and chips. Yeah. She's warming them up in the oven. 
but I'd like to tell your missus from me. Shit, a stuff up bleeding pudding. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't get any for you. <laughs> ah, we thought Bert's missus was looking after you. <laughs> Good luck, help. Phone Australia. What's oh, your can? You forgot the phone and dial anywhere in the world, no? Get off. You've been too watching too many bloody films, you have, mate. For your information, there's parts of that Australia, what is known as your bloody bush, where man ain't even set foot yet. Yeah, well, maybe, but Mum ain't there, is she? She's in Sydney. It's a big town. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. It's like London. It's got streets and shops. Yeah, old street. Well, yeah, we know it's got streets and shops. I mean, everywhere's got streets and shops, isn't it? Even your jungle's got bloody streets and shops. <laughs> Don't make them civilised, do it? Yeah, well, they are in Australia. What? Civilised. Civilised with all them other vaginals. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> well, they don't sound very civilised, mate, do it? Bloody great spiders and sharks running about all over the place. Well, look, are you going to phone Mara? No, you can't just phone to Australia like that. You've got to oh, book it first. You haven't. You haven't come out in all the papers. You can no. just pick up the phone, aren't you? You don't want to believe everything you read in the papers, mate, particularly ones you buy. Oh, <laughs> Harry Pollock's comic cuts there. <laughs> what do you think they do then? Keep all them lines open just so anyone can ring Australia when they bloody will feel like it. Yeah. Get all oh, part of it. Come on, listen, people are following Australia all the time. Hey, Ma, I say, when she was here, when that silly moo was here, she could sit here all bloody night and you wouldn't say a word to her. And now, just because she's out in Australia, other side of bloody world, he wants to talk to her. Well, don't you want to? Yeah. Talk to her, but I mean, see some bloody silly, doesn't it? You don't, do you? Yes, I no, do. You don't. I do want to. No. I mean, I what are we going to say, then? Well, you can say, hello, and, uh, are you all right? Did you get there all right? And you can tell her how much you're missing her, and ask her if she's missing you. I mean, she's going to be knocked out if she hears our voices. Imagine, imagine our voices all over the world. My voice in Bahrain and Marrakesh. Yeah, well, I don't want my bloody voice out there, thank you very much. <laughs> how much it cost a phone Australia, anyway? Wow. Oh, about a pound a minute. Yeah. A pound a minute? <laughs> Who gets that? Us or them bloody Aussies? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, all chipping, you are. All right, but only one minute. Right. I'll set my watch on them. See? <laughs> no, well, my watch keeps bloody good time, it does. Yeah. Will you get your feet off the bloody furniture? Let's move up a bit. <laughs> right, give us that number, Rick. Can I do it? No, you no, can't. Let me do it. No, I've got the watch. I've got the watch, and I. And if I've got the phone and all, I can shut down right on time, can't I? I don't trust them Aussies. You see that mum pies there? Isn't the first test? Oh, no, that's bloody crooks. <laughs> all right, don't hurry me. Wait a minute. Well, let's right. say ten then. Yes, all right. Say ten. Ten o'clock. That's right. Ten. <laughs> Cross line. No, get in. Unless it was the bat. I don't think I heard the bat. <laughs> Where did we say then? I'm not sure. But I don't want to go to the wrong place. Well, neither do I. Stand about waiting. It might be raining. Yeah, might be raining, yeah. <laughs> Listen, why don't you tell her where you're going to meet her? Hurry up, see, cos I am waiting to make a phone call. <laughs> We've got someone on our line, I think. No, dear, my line. <laughs> my line. 
line, you're on my line. We were talking and you come onto our line. No, point of information, my dear. You was talking, you've come on my line. No, we were talking and you've come on our line. No, look, I picked up my phone. Oh, come on. Will, will you, you shut up? <laughs> no, you shut up. Look, I'm bloody talking to you. You're on my line. Will you put your phone down? No, I won't. You put your phone down. Go on, tell them what it's at, yeah, Alfie. Tell them what it's at. Kid. Well, you want to shut your mouth and give somebody else a bloody chance, don't you? Don't you use that language to me. I'll use any bloody language I want to you, Missy, because I am talking on my phone, in my home, and I'm trying to phone my wife in Australia. And I am on my own phone, too, and I... Are you? Well, you want to put the bloody thing down and give somebody else a chance to use their phone, don't you? I won't. I shall sit here and I won't budge till you get off your well, phone. Bloody, we'll sit there, then. Go on. And I'll sit here and all. Yeah. Dad, come on. No, I'm not giving in to her. I've got as much right to use my phone as she has to use her. Why don't you hang up and clear the line? No, yeah, clear the line, bloody toffee nose git. No, oh, clear it. <laughs> anyway, I ain't on her line. I'm not on her line, Sonny. She's on my bloody line. Hey, missus, you tell your friend where you want to meet her and clear all part of it. Here, please, she's gone. Oh, God. Hello? <laughs> Still there, Ethel? Yes, I know. Look, if you don't get off, I'll tell the operator. Tell him. Go on, bloody tell him, and I'll tell him and all. Because you are obstructing my line. And I can't. Oh, you've a bloody fool. <laughs> Kiss it back. Shut up. <clears throat> Number, please. Oh, uh, could you get us Sydney, Australia? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mum! It's me, oh, Rita! Hello, Mom. Oh, hello, Rita! Oh! Oh, I've got all sorts of things that I can't think of a word to say. Are you all right? Hey? Just a minute. Good day. You're the lady from England, ain't you? Yes, that's right. Yeah, you have a nice trip? Oh, yes. I flew over. Yeah, what's it like back there? It's not as sunny as it is here. <laughs> Black on me, isn't it? Yeah. Taking over half our street, they have. Yeah. Oh, don't mind them. Not the ones down our street. They're quite pleasant. What are you it's doing? Not gonna be I can hear a voice. She's not going to be. What? Well, give it. Let me speak to her. Just a give minute. it to me. It's my bloody phone. No, in a minute. Oh. Give us it. That's my sister Maud who lives here. I came over to look after her. Oh, I see. Would you like a cigarette? Oh, that's nice. Duty free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I've got relations living in Barnsley, you know. Have you? Oh, we haven't got anyone living there. All my relations live here in Australia. Oh, that goes. Elf! <laughs> can you bloody hear me? <laughs> Silly Mark, I can hear her talking. Who's she bloody talking to? The milkman. <laughs> bloody hell, will you pick that phone up? Else! You silly great puddin'! Else! You silly moon! Look, what are you doing? It's costing a bloody port! <laughs> She's hung up. <laughs> bloody great puddin'! Look at that! Look! It's cost me four quid, days. <laughs> Go on, Bennett. Phone Australia, they say. Phone.
Fair, eh? <laughs> Ria! <laughs> Mike! Are you out? Plenty of meat, see? Yeah, I hope it's a big one, because I'm bloody starving, I am. Well, of course you are. You must be out of work all day. Yeah. Well, I'll get on, then. Yeah, right. Um, uh, do you know where she keeps the opener? <laughs> <laughs> what opener? The tin opener for these. No, I've, what about the pudding you said you's making? Oh yes, we well, like to go out, see. Then this man called. Yeah, but look, I don't want bloody tins. <laughs> well, it was late when he left, see. So I thought to myself, well, I won't bother with the pudding now, see, because they're going to come in. They're bound to be late, they're bound to be hungry, they don't want to sit there waiting for no pudding to cook. So then I thought to myself, well, I thought the fish and chip shop's handy. I thought, what about a nice bit of cod and chips, you know, double L pins? Yeah. I know my Bert Luck. Hey, bloody in. <laughs> bloody hell. then. <laughs> Honey, she give me the key, young Rita, told me to let myself in, she's gone out. Hey? It's all right, no need to worry, she asked me to pop in and look out for you. Well, I said I would, you see, do a good one, you get out of the house for a bit. That Mrs Smith, she's got the youngster and I said I'd watch out for you. Where's she gone? She's gone at the pictures she has, her and Mike, all right for Sam and you. <laughs> Have her pictures? What about my dinner? It's all right. She's left you some tins. <laughs> tins? Tins, and it bloody fair, eh? I'm out of work all bloody day long, slogging my bleeding guts out. She's all for pictures. I mean, she's supposed to be looking after me, she is. That's why I let the other one, the silly moo, go to Australia. <laughs> and she ain't hardly got there yet, when this one, little madam, she's pissed off our pictures. <laughs> I mean, ain't a lot to ask, is you just make me bloody dinner at night, that's all. You want some dinner then, do you? Of course I bloody do! Of course I want some dinner! Well, all right, Mr Garnet, just you sit down there. Well... Sit down. I'll go and open these, then. <laughs> I thought you said she asked you to look after me. Yes, she did. She did. She asked me if I'd cook you a bit, and I said I didn't mind. Well, I don't. I mean, if you can't help a neighbour. And I was going to be cooking for my Bert anyway. Oh, well. Thanks very much, honey. I thought you said... No, I'm making my Bert a meat pudding, see? So I thought to myself, well, I thought, I've got a big basin. I only needs a bit more dough, because I've got box fish and chips, and I didn't think you'd object. And up there in that new shop, he's ever so good he is. Well, I mean, even the batter's good up yeah, there. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that do, do. And he, of course, I had to forget, he shuts early on Wednesdays. <laughs> it's, it's Tuesday. Eh? Hey? Today is Tuesday! Is he? Oh, dear. I wish I'd have known. Still, never mind. This will be very nice. This is ravioli. All continental, eh? Imagine you're in the south of France. And that's, um, that's continental barley soup. Kosher. <laughs> they look after you, don't they? I've got something for you here as well. 